Hello everyone and welcome back to another fun and exciting episode of Robbie Plays. Uh, we're back in playing The Walking Dead, Chapter Two. Nope. Of the Walking Dead. Ba -ba -ba. I know who you are. Oh, I got another good one for you. been all by yourself through this? Yep. Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. Ah, uh, itchy bug Keep bites suck. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in yep. with Doug. You got it, boss. He's dead. <laughs> oh, God damn. Bitch. One of them is bitten. No, he's not. With with the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Yeah, Larry's a douche. Yep, he dead. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you, but if anything mm. happens to my daughter or so, that little girl you've got with you, this morning, you watch your yeah, ass. fuck you, Larry. Uh, this morning I woke up to find one of my fillings had fallen out. So my tooth hurts like hell. Yep. Yeah, I, I, I'm aware of how a Telltale game works. Thank you. Presentes. Skybound. Entertainment. In the head. Three months, hey, that's not bad for surviving during a zombie apocalypse. Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. Hmm. That sucks. I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah. So it sounds like things are not I going I well. Sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Probably not. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Yeah. Did you hear Larry going point. off on him last night? Yeah, fuck What's Larry. guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. It's because I'm black. The character, not, not me. He's just an old racist asshole. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Yep. Our problems are not. We should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Yeah, no, I'll give him that. Larry's built. He's a tank. Bird. 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 It's a long shot. I need to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. You better hit it then. Ah, oh, fuck. Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Oh, that was somebody. Somebody. 
I'm not gonna waste a bullet in my ass. These things are valuable. Running, 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 running. Ah, shit. Christ. Oh, shit. No, no. Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not going to hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. Paranoid We're ass. Threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you got to shut the fuck up. Lee, this is fucked up. We've got to help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see like, oh God. God. One of those that, assholes. Leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Okay. We got to get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you got to hurry. Get the hell out of it. Hurry, please, hurry. Ah, shit. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh, no. Yep. Shit. Walkers! It's now or never, Lee. Please! Get me out of this! Mark, get the boys back! Oh, shit. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. He's lost so much blood already! Please hurry up! Please do something! Can I pry There's it? There's gotta be something we can do! No, no, no! Stop! Nope! Fuck! Tried to pry it! Please! Just, get the just leave him like this! Just get me out, please! All that blood and screaming? Oh, God. Surrounded please! Minutes. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah! Uh, let's go. Chain! Let's go. Two! Hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Oh, God. Oh, God. It has to be now! It. Oh Jesus, those things are gonna be here soon. There's oh, God, another one. Hey, forget it. We use chain like that at the Air Force Base to lift ordnance. You're not cutting through them. There's so much blood. Damn it, Lee just cut off his fucking leg. Really bad. Yep. Just just me out. He's gotta turn to get on. It's already gone. Come on, damn it. Just get me out. Uh, I was gonna use the controller for this. You have to get him out. I was going to use a controller, but my controller is broken. No, no, no! Try the trap again. Anything, please. Sorry, man. Oh. Hit it. Ugh. Come on, we gotta go now. No. No. No, don't leave me. Damn it, Lee. Uh, I'm sorry. No, we can't leave Mr. Parker like that. Give me the gun. Give it to me. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh. God damn it, man. He went for the gun! Oh god. They're Bradley fucked. Can't keep moving. All this arguing, you could have finished taking the guy's leg off and grabbed him too. Please get me out. Oh come on, be merciful. Put a bullet in the guy. Oh come on, man. Oh. I didn't want to have to take the guy's leg off, so I waited too long. Oh, that sucks. Oh. Rock hammer. I've done that before. Just use random shit to bash nails into walls. Yeah, rock hammers suck.
Girl, get the gun up. You hear a rustle at all, you put that gun up. Yeah, there you go. Don't shoot. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on, come oh on! God. What happened? Nice game. What's going on? Have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee, I, I don't know. Lee, what the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. We're the ones that shot him. Then you should have done the right thing and finished them off. What the hell is wrong with you? I don't entirely oh, disagree there. I haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. But yeah, come if on, he can be patched up, people. he should be patched people up. trying to survive just like us. We've got right. to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're yeah. of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, Ouch. I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Most people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence. But sooner or later, you're going to have to decide whose side you're on. Probably, but not right now. I see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Yeah, don't give yourself a heart attack, old man. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. God damn it. Well, that's a shitty decision to have to make. Four items for ten people. Oh, God. Jeez. I don't blame her for being pissed. I, I gotta say. It's, that's tough. Like, that's seriously tough. Like, having to make that choice for people. That's... Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Absolutely. Sure. What do you need? Apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. What were you thinking bringing him here? Even if he lives, we aren't going to be able to take care of him. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. Yeah. The right thing is just scary sometimes, Yep, and it sucks. The situation all around well, sucks. You've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Fair enough. I still like this shit happens bumper sticker. Sturdy, but it's not gonna hold up forever, just like the rest of this place. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. Sure. 
When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Hey, Let's see if this dude's okay. I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe we just left Mr. Parker there. I tried. I really did. I just ran out of time. There was nothing else we could do. Yeah. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, um... Uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know. Something. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The guy in the truck is Travis. He played in the school band with me. Mr. Parker was the band director, but... God, I can't believe we left him. Yeah, no, he's definitely dead. I'm not giving you food yet. You'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. I'm talking to everyone before I make this decision who to give food to. That thing doesn't work anymore, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah, if that's okay. I, um, I need it. It's okay, huh? Fair enough. You said they'd find us. I know, I did. And until then... Look, uh, Clementine. I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. But it makes me feel better. Okay. Fair enough. You take good care of it then. I will. How you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? Probably not. I'm not sure. I hope you will. Yeah. I'm so hungry, Lee. I hope that I get dust to eat floating some. around in here. Oh, sh okay. So she's actually said she's hungry. I I'm most likely gonna give food to the kids. Like. How you doing, Doc? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. <laughs> Ouch. You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Fair enough. Catch you later, Doc. Bye, Lee. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. I don't blame you. Yeah. Yep. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. No. Nope. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. Another guy yeah. Dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Hey, at least somebody believes in me. Jeez. Back in a bit. <sighs> Talk to you. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's It's so a eager good fortified location working. so far. But this is a good spot. It is. I will give it, but you should be prepared to get the hell out. Now and it's working. But now. We should talk about you and Kenny. What yes. The arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. Yeah. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Keep an eye out. Fine. There is no food. 
I don't, I'll talk to Kenny. You're both being irrational. That's the situation right now. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't yep. forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. We need you here. We have a better chance of surviving as a group. Our best chance of surviving is to get away from the mainland. My mind is made up. Fair enough. Okay. The kids are going to get food for sure. I'm going to talk to Larry. You know what? Let's what go talk to the asshole. The board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Dick. Hey, will the kid make it? You know what? Fuck Larry. I don't know. You know it was an accident, right? I didn't mean to shoot him. Yeah, no, no, no. It was crazy back there. Kid acted stupid. You ever miss the Air Force Base? Man. This wall isn't exactly military <laughs> yeah. standards. No the kidding. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. <sighs> Lily's pretty pissed at us. Well, what did she want us to do? Just leave a couple of teenagers to the walkers? That's exactly what you should have done. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Fair enough. Give it to Mark. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't. You have a heart condition. The axe? Come on, Larry. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh, and that's what you think this is? A little bit, yeah. Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. And what are you going to do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. I you can respect I that. If you two would shut up and let me get back to work. He wasn't such a dick. He's got noble intentions for the most part. Keeping his daughter safe. I get that. He's still a dick. You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta yeah, start acting seriously. Like gotta stop all that. We'd be fine without you. Yeah, probably, but you know what? Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. No, I'm not giving effects. you food. Don't tell me what to You're being a leave. dick. If you weren't such a dick, I'd give you food. Okay, I think I'm going to give Mark the kids and Kenny's wife the food. Yeah, I think that's what it's going to have to be. All right. Here, eat something. Why don't you give it to Doc? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. I need space, Lee. Okay, fair enough. I won't give you the food, then. Yeah, I'm definitely giving it to Duck and Clementine. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Yeah. Mmm. Apple. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. 
Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. Hey, Duck. How about yeah. your food? Duck. I'm gonna give Duck the crackers and cheese. Yeah! Oh, man, I'm so hungry. <sighs> um... It's probably going to start shit, but Mark. He's actually physically getting yeah, weak and unable to hold that up. Have the jerky. Thanks, Lee. No, well, someone else. Some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Yep. Yeah. Last piece is going... Oh, I haven't looked at the fence. It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Oh, she won't take the food. Want something to eat? Yep. Yeah. Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. All right, then. Kenny. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yep. Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Yeah, they're not going to be thrilled about it. I had to pick a side. Not such an easy job, is it? Never said no. it was. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some Go away Windows update settings. Your choices. You're Probably out. not. What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Ken, Lee, come here, please. Oh, uh, shit. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. Yeah. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, I didn't think so. Not our problem anymore. <clears throat> what about the huh? other kid? Oh! Uh. Ah, shit. Really? I have shitty reaction time. Ah, shit. it is. God damn it. Oh! God damn! 
You okay? Yeah, thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. Yep. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people yep. turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Are you armed? Yeah, for protection. The dead could be anywhere. But uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look. We own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. Fair enough. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with yeah, the vegetables there you go. we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. Yeah. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because yeah. of the past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. Nope. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone was Fair enough. Way. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in. Uh, who's running things over there? I'll right. take it. If you guys have any questions, you come to me. How many people you got over there anyway? Nine, including the kids. You forgot Ben. Me? That makes it ten. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. Fair In enough. The summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, hey, I did that before. Helps. Mama's been running. That was dairy. actually a lot of fun too. As long as I can Working remember. on, a, uh, I used to work now at the gar goat farm at the Carl Sandburg home. Shit, get down. No 
one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this bandits. Shit. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. And are. you guys were keeping it there's up. There's only yourself. two. Oh no, there's Yeah, and you know what? More. We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Oh, mm. Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out. Hope they move on. Fuck yeah. you! Oh shit. Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! God damn! No kidding. Come on. Let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Jeez. You're not going to loot the body? I, I, I mean, I'd have looted the body. <clears throat> Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. How about that? Daily farm tours. This place so safe. The fence keeps them out. You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing four thousand bolts through that oh, thing. Oh, jeez. Generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. That uh, that'll fry the shit out of pretty much anyone. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in Ow. ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Hold on, I, I thought uh -huh. you said someone else was running things. Oh yeah, uh, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to hang like around her. here again. Danny, why don't you come help I really me? don't like the guy on the right. Some... Oh. Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence Ooh. before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. It's actually not an awful uh, setup, I gotta say. When you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got yeah. food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing the yeah. whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. Yeah. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but... Maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Mm. 
So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. So this has been interesting. Their turn of events here. Possibly a safe place? Probably not. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Yeah. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's mm. know we can pull our weight around here. All right. Fair enough. Well, I think I'm going to call it here. If you enjoyed this video, click like, comment, subscribe, check out our Patreon, check out our Discord, and as always, have fun.